Hi friends, welcome back to the part 18 of this tutorial. So in this part, we will uh, see how we can register a new user in our database. All right. So let's let's uh, start. So we have our uh, registration page here. Uh, let me just open the browser and navigate to localhost 3000. Okay. Localhost. 3000 so we have this registration page where we are uh, sending first name last name email and password right we're not doing any sort of validation here as we uh, I'm not gonna look into the validation part in this tutorial it's just about the CMS and how to create it okay so I have renamed few of these controllers uh, the functions like login and register to get and post so in the in the post section, we currently just sending a response that says successfully registered. Okay, so here we will put the logic. Okay, so first of all, let's uh, create an array of errors just in case if we have any errors. So we will display those uh, in the front end. And I'm gonna put do some validation in the back end, not in the front end. Okay, so we'll fetch the first name attribute that is coming through the form. And if I just go back to the default layout registration form, so we have these name attributes set like first name, last name, and email. Okay, so let's check those in the controller. If it's empty, then I'll say errors dot push with a message. First name is mandatory okay similarly I'll copy it three times let's say four times okay last name last name email email field is mandatory and we'll check the password confirmation I mean if the password and the confirm password does not uh, match then we have an error right password does not equal to request.body.confirm let me check the name here password and password confirm okay password confirm okay then let's say Passwords do not m match. Okay, that should be all for the validation part. And now, if I have error, that means my error, error array it has a length of more than zero. So what I want, I want to render the same page again. Let's. Uh, this one default register but now I want to send some parameters I want the form to auto reload with the uh, uh, entered information for the first name last name and email not the password of course what is our first name last name request a body dot last name and email will be request dot body dot email okay otherwise if there is there are no errors okay then we'll first try to find one user from the database to check if the email is not already taken right so under the then block if I find an user then I want to do something I want to show an error right or show a flash message here error message email already exists try another one and redirect to login or let's say let's login access 
try to log in else if there is no uh, uh, user found then we want to create a new user and we will use our user model okay and uh, we, I also need to uh, what do you call encrypt my password okay so I'm gonna require bcrypt here const bcrypt equals to require bcrypt okay uh, it's not loading somehow Recap JS. Uh, we'll just check the node modules. Uh, node modules here. Bcrypt. Mm -hmm. It's not there. All right. Never mind. So I'll use Bcrypt JS. And it's installed with the help of my IDE. Okay. Bcrypt dot uh, it's not working for my node modules node okay so I'm gonna apply it I'm gonna uncheck the coding assistance and enable it back okay so Bcrypt dot uh, gen solved I believe it was the name the method gen salt and I'll give salt round of 10 this will give me a error or a salt I will further use to decrypt dot hash my password new user dot password will be my first parameter the second parameter will be the salt this will give me an error or a hash after computing so now I will do I will set the new user dot password equals to the hash value and we'll call the safe method here that will save the user database and give me a response back so I'll show a flash message success message uh, you are now registered and redirect them to the login URL okay that should be all let's see if the bcrypt works or not okay, save the changes and let's see okay so it is running perfect and if I go back to my database I don't have any users as if now okay I only have categories and posts so let's try to sign in John Doe JD at JD.com uh, password will be admin at one two three admin at one two three hit register oh says user is not defined okay let's see what's going on uh, okay we don't have user model do we I think we created the models right yep we have the model here just simply we did not import it let's let's do that const user equals to require models user model and uh, not the constructor the user okay let's go back Okay, see the uh, fields are auto populated without the password. So let's type again. I can type 123 also because we are not 
doing any validation or checks for the length okay, okay so I think it's it registered now and if I go back to database and refresh we should see a new user section and we have the user okay and now if I try to log in jd at jd.com password one two three okay I guess we're not doing any validation for login okay we will do that in the in the next video so for now uh, I hope you uh, have uh, seen how e easy it is you can also check for the errors right let's quickly go back register I'm, I'm gonna leave the first name and just fill the other fields or let's uh, intentionally put a wrong password in the confirm field and see so it says please fill out the field because this is done through the browser here okay I'm gonna remove this required okay save the changes and if I just hit register oh, refresh the page of course leave it Put anything here. All right. So what happened now? Did it give me a new user? No, it did not give me any user. Actually, we are not rendering any error messages here. Okay, so we have to do that. All right. So let's quickly do that. And so if errors that's the variable name that we have and we have to use hash I'm sorry okay it's closing the if statement if this is the case then we would have errors and we will loop through each errors here and I'm gonna put an alert danger let's use alert dismissible Wait, show these are all bootstrap classes, right? As a role of alert. So I'll use a strong tag here, wherein I'll put the message. That's the message attribute that we are sending through the uh, render view, okay? Through here, I mean, this is the message key, okay? Let's check now, save it. Okay, go back refresh the page uh, refresh the page leave this fee all these fields blank and hit register so say first name mandatory last name mandatory email is mandatory okay and if I just put any of these fields and leave email blank and I enter a wrong password here and here they, they don't match actually okay so now you see it says email field is mandatory passwords do not match perfect so our validation at the server side is is working fine okay and, it, and now we are able to display the error messages as well so in the next part we will see how we can use this user to log in and redirect the user to the admin page once the login is successful okay so till then please don't forget to subscribe like and share my channel and if you have any comments please leave them in the comments below Thank you and have a wonderful day.